It's been five years since Amazon's revolutionary Echo appeared and sparked the smart home speaker industry. Now, there are more than a dozen Alexa speakers on the market, with more on the way. And while Amazon has launched plenty of other Alexa-enabled devices since then, the second-generation Echo remains an excellent step up from the first-gen Echo. Amazon hasn't really placed a premium on making its devices stylish. Just look at its phones, tablets, and first-generation Echoes. That's changing with the second-generation Echo. Not only is it more compact than the original, but its looks have greatly improved. Rather than an industrial-looking cylinder whose lower half is perforated with holes, the all-new Echo has a soft, fabric-colored exterior that blends better into your home decor. If the fabric look isn't for you, the second-gen Echo's cover is removable. You can swap it out with other skins, including walnut, oak, and a metallic silver. At 5.9 inches tall and 3.5 inches in diameter, the second Echo is slightly wider, but several inches shorter than the original, which stood at 9.25 by 3.3 inches in diameter. Size-wise, the newer Echo is very similar to the Google Home, which measures 5.62 by 3.79 inches around. Like the original, there's an LED ring around the top edge of the Echo that turns blue when it's listening and red when the microphone is off. On the top of the second generation Echo is a button to activate Alexa and one to mute the microphone. However, instead of a twist dial to control the volume, the second gen Echo has two buttons, like the Echo Dot. More functional, but not as fun. Around back, next to the power port, is a 3.5mm audio out jack, in case you want to attach a better speaker. It also has Bluetooth, so you can connect to a speaker wirelessly too. On the inside, there's a new 65mm woofer and 15mm tweeter. Though much smaller than those of the previous model, there's an upgrade in sound quality. That's no doubt in part attributed to the Dolby processing on board here. As well as second-gen speaker tech, the new Echo also has the second generation of Amazon's far-field microphone technology. The key upgrades are said to include better processing of your wake word and improved noise cancellation, which should make it better at hearing your commands in noisy rooms. Also included is Alexa Routines. Much like old universal remotes, it will allow you to program and control multiple Alexa devices with a single command. Alexa Good Morning could signal your smart lights to come on, blinds to open, and even your kettle to boil, or just for your Echo to give you a weather report. Setup is simple and intuitive via the Alexa app, though its usefulness hinges on the number of Alexa devices you have in your home. You can now call people using Alexa provided they too have an Alexa device. Alexa calling and messaging promises to let you drop in and out of other people's devices. You're going to get more sound out of the Echo than out of an Echo Dot, while the most recent Echo Dot is significantly better sounding than its predecessor. The full-size Echo can get much louder and sound much fuller and is easily heard from across a room. In a quiet room with only the usual ambient chatter, the Echo had no problem hearing me from 40 feet away. With music playing at 60% volume, that distance dropped to 25 feet. With music playing at 80% volume, it was 15 feet, which is still the size of most rooms. Calling the Echo while it played music at top volume from 15 feet away, I often had to speak two or three times before Alexa recognized me, but it still beats the pants off the old Echo, which had trouble hearing its wake word over top volume music even when I was right next to the speaker. If you've been frustrated by wake word recognition of your old Echo, the new model will help. That 3.5mm jack highlights how Alexa devices, including the Echo, are more flexible than other smart speaker setups when it comes to connecting with both content and devices. Only Amazon lets you plug directly into another speaker or use Bluetooth to control another speaker. You can also connect your phone to the Echo via Bluetooth and use it as a standard Bluetooth speaker itself, or play your own music files out of a cloud-based locker instead of a subscription music service or your phone. Echoes make good components to a multi-room audio system. The Echo Spatial Perception feature means that only the nearest one responds when you call, and unlike their competitors, they can be switched to respond to one of four different wake words, Alexa, Amazon, Echo, and Computer. This is very nice if you have a family member named Alexa. Alexa-wise, the Echo doesn't differentiate itself from other Amazon products currently on the market. There are some Alexa features, most notably drop-in calling, that are exclusive to Amazon and don't work on third-party Alexa devices like the Sonos One. But all the Amazon Echo devices have the same Alexa features. Alexa syncs with your Amazon Music Library and, if you have Amazon Prime, all of Prime Music. 
You can also add any of your own MP3s to your Amazon Music Library and play music from iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, and TuneIn. Alexa will read your Kindle books or Audible audiobooks, and it'll sync up your last read locations with your other Kindle devices. With the updated firmware, the all-new Echo is a step up aesthetically and on a par acoustically as the original. While not the best sounding smart speaker, it's a great option for those who are looking for an Alexa-enabled speaker that can hold its own as your primary music player. For those who want a simple but good sounding smart speaker for an affordable price, the all-new Echo is your best bet.